so today's video is all about the block sphere so we need to know how to use block sphere to represent quantum states on the surface of this sphere of unit radius so what are the bits bits are classical information valued only zero or one okay and we know that quantum bits can be in superposition states it is not like classical bits so quantum bits qubits can stay in the superposition state or it can stay either zero or one at the same time simultaneously so if you talk about quantum computers that is why it can increase the speed of computation exponentially faster so we can represent the superposition state psi as alpha cat 0 plus beta cat 1 after measurement the state will collapse to either 0 state or cat 1 so how would single qubit can be represented visually so to represent this quantum states or to visualize the states we can use block sphere now how would you visualize this classical bit we can visualize this by representing the possible bits 0 and 1 as in points of a line like this on the other hand for qubit which states in superposition state we can use face or angle which will allow an infinite set of states on the surface of the unit sphere which we call the block sphere so state cat 0 can be represented in the block sphere like this and cat 1 can be represented like this so it is very easy to visualize on the surface of the sphere so after the measurement the state will collapse to either 0 or 1 because it is it was in a superposition state of 0 and 1 so the superposition state psi can be represented as alpha cat 0 plus beta cat 1 and the probability amplitude alpha and beta are complex numbers so if you square this amplitudes you will get a real value which will be the probability to get the state get the respective states in the superposition state or you can find the normalization of this superposition state and you will get one so the phase factor has no effect so we can choose alpha to be real so alpha will be cos theta by 2 and beta will be e to the power i phi sin theta by 2 and this will give after normalization is equal to 1 so we can write the equation like this after that we will get an equation of psi as psi is equal to cos theta by 2 cat 0 plus e to the power i phi sin theta by 2 cat 1 so we can represent the superposition states as points on the block sphere and we got the equation of psi like this so this will be the state 0 and this will be the state 1 and angle theta can vary like this and phi can vary like this and the radius of the sphere is r is equal to 1 this is the block sphere so there is an example if theta is equal to 0 then you have to rotate the z the state 0 from z axis by 0 degree then it you will get the state 0 right so we can try to calculate with, by putting the value theta is equal to 0 in the equation and you will get state 0 and also you can visualize this in a block sphere now if we put theta is equal to pi and phi is equal to 0 then by putting it you will get the state psi is equal to 1 so the state uh, is collapsed after the measurement 
because earlier it was in a superposition state between 0 and 1. Here theta is equal to 180 degree or pi. So you will rotate this theta and you will get state 1. Now if you put theta is equal to pi by 2. So rotate the state by pi by 2 and you can rotate the phi which is 0 degree so it will stay on the same axis so after your rotation of phi by 2 you will get the state in the x cap direction so it will be the superposition between 0 and 1 so the final state would be psi is equal to cat 0 plus cat 1 divided by root 2 so both the state has 50 50 probability of getting after the measurement so this is the state plus for the state minus you have to rotate the theta by pi by 2 and phi by 180 degree then you will get the state minus cat which will be superposition and also cat 0 minus cat 1 divided by root 2 so now if we put theta is equal to pi by 2 and phi is equal to pi by 2 then after the putting after putting the values in the equation you will get the value as cat 0 plus i cat 1 divided by root 2 so after applying this you will get a face angle So now single qubit operation. So we have different kinds of gates, quantum gates, which we can operate on the qubit to sense the qubit itself. So how we can do it? So we have Hadamard operation. So if we operate Hadamard gate on a qubit, so it will create superposition between 0 and 1. So Hadamard gate or edge gate implement a rotation about pi by 2 around y axis. If you rotate it by 180 deg uh, 90 degree or pi by 2, then you will get the states plus and minus respectively depending upon the angle phi. So if you operate Hadamard gate on 0, you will get the state 1 by root 2 cat. 0 plus cat 1 and if you operate Hadamard gate on state 1 then you will get 1 by root 2 cat 0 minus cat 1 so it will rotate around the y axis on the block sphere now if we operate x gate or not gate on the qubit then we have to put theta is equal to 0 then if we put theta is equal to 0 then this part will be 1 and it will remain but this part will be cancelled because sine 0 is 0 so we will get 0 so x gate will intersense or flip the state 0 to 1 and 1 to 0 So it will make a rotation of 180 degree around x axis. So 0 and 1 because it will flip each other. Single qubit pi by 2 phase gate. Pi by 2 phase gate will give theta is equal to pi by 2 rotation and phi is equal to pi by 2 rotation so it will rotate about z axis by pi by 2 and it will increase the phase of any state by pi by 2 so after operation you will get psi is equal to cat 0 plus i cat 1 divided by root 2 so it will give a phase of i after the operation so thank you this is all about the block sphere 
so i hope you understand if you have any queries you can ask me in the comment section thank you